Hello everybody, it's your girl Gingy, and welcome to my channel Ginger Books, or welcome back if you're a continuing watcher or subscriber. And of course, if you've been following my videos and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, so you are notified when I post. And can enjoy this fun, chaotic journey that is this channel under Ginger Books and Ginger Snaps Gaming. Hello everybody, so I am back with another fun book tag, and this comes to us again from the book... The Book Nut, a book lover's guide blog that is co-blogged by Jenza, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that wrong, and Aaron. Now, this book tag is the Sarah J. Mass book tag part one that was released on June 30th of 2021 um, by Aaron the Book Nut, one of the co-writers. And I figured this would be fitting because Sarah J. Mass is my top, one of my top three favorite authors of like all time. So figured we would get into this. But one of the rules is, is that you cannot use any of Sarah J. Mass's books. So this was a little harder for me <laughs> because a lot of her books are on like my list for a lot of book tags. So, but you know what? Let's get into it and see how well I did. All right. These are all themed off of Sarah J. Mass books. So the first one is Assassin's Blade, a collection of sort stories that tie into another st series. So I don't actually have this. I don't have a collection of short stories, but I do have books that are technically like short books or stories that fit, fit into things, but they're not a collection. So I did not have one for this just because I don't know if we could bend the rules for this or not. So <laughs> Throne of Glass, a book with a competition in it. Of course, I had to go back because I do. I have read this book. I just not have read the entire series is The Hunger Games, Susan Collins. I've read the book. There is obviously a competition in it, but I have not read the rest of the series because I'm not really into dystopians. Even though there's some books, I guess, by Sarah J. Mass that are considered dystopians, like if you want to put them in multiple genres, but... Also, if you notice, I am not wearing my glasses because I am looking up, um, as you go, the questions on this monitor. So, and I'm trying not to get the glare in there because I noticed in some of the videos when I do use my monitor, there's a bad glare. So... <laughs> That's why I'm not wearing my glasses. So if you see me reach forward, that's why. Anyways, Crown of Midnight, a book series where the, or series where the MC changes love interests in the middle. Marked by PC and Kristen cast. I mean, she changes it like, what, twice? Yeah, enough said. Air of Fire, a book where the MC spends time training. Now, Usually I go towards a Sarah J. Mass book for this one, but I decided to use this series just because I haven't used it in a long time. Uh, Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm sorry if I mispronounce the last name. I butcher it every time. I do apologize. The main character does do some knife training um, by one of the side characters in here. And of course I can't remember names worth to save my life, and this is really bad because I have read this series recently, so... <laughs> but... Very interesting series if you really want to get into kind of like a Beauty of the Beast kind of once upon a time retellings. Uh, this series is for you. I loved it, hands down. Queen of Shadows, a book with a daring rescue. So the only one that kind of came to mind, um, and I have read it recently because there was some, there was one in her OG series as well, as well as this one. So that would be The Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Monoscalco because the whole entire time you're trying to rescue the main character's main or twin sister, even though she finds out that she supposedly Empire of Storms, a book with a cliffhanger, and it's really funny that Aaron the Book Nut also picked a book from this series. I think the best cliffhanger was the se this, uh, second book and the third book in this series, and that would be the Truly Devious series, and I'm only holding up the second book, The Bash. Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, but the first and second one of the series had the best cliffhangers. But most of the books, just like what Aaron says, um, most of them end in a cliffhanger until the last book, so. Actually, the last book did leave off in a cliffhanger because technically the Truly Devious series is a trilogy and she's doing a, a sequel series. So I should say the other one kind of left off on a cliffhanger, but I don't know if there's going to be another book released anytime soon. Should probably check into that. Editing me, check into that. Now, Tower of Dawn, a book you didn't think you would like. This one, and it's not even, like, part of the genre I've been holding up, and that would be Platform 7 by Louise Dowdy. I didn't think I would like this book. It is more of an adult thriller kind of suspense book, 
Uh, but I actually really enjoyed it. It was a little hard for me to get into because, again, I don't read adult books. <laughs> so, but it was really interesting. So, and then the last question, Kingdom of Ash, a series you wish you would never end. I think you know which series right now, if you've been following my channel for the last, like, six months, no. I wish this series did not end as a trilogy. I wish there would be one more book at least, like she did with the, with, like what Carrie Mamaskako did with the Stalking Jack the Ripper. But, and it's been really hard not to try to reread this series. <sighs> so good. All right, so that is my take on the Sarah J. Mass Part One book tag. I do want to do Part Two, and maybe we might do that next week or here in the next couple of weeks. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw. Please stick around. As I said at the beginning, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you are notified when I do post. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their week and a happy Thanksgiving.